In this video, I'm going to show you how to film a super zoom effect and stitch that together in an editing program. We're using Premiere, but you can use basically any editing software to do this effect. So let's get into it. So before we jump into the editing program, we first just need to make sure that we capture the right footage. So you want to go ahead and find the target that you want to zoom in on. So in my example, I'm going to zoom in on my keys, which are on top of my backpack. And you basically want to make sure that you're zooming into a specific point in the frame. So make sure you're zooming in with something specifically in the very center of the frame. Now, it's also worth noting that you need a zoom lens to do this effect. This won't work if you have a prime lens. You have to make sure you have a zoom lens in order to do this super zoom effect. So at the end of your first shot, you just want to zoom in towards that specific object of choice. And then at the start of your second shot, you want to be zoomed out and then zoom in to that specific target. Again, keeping that in the very center. So basically the first shot, you want to be far away from this item. And then you want to move forward, start filming the second shot a lot closer. That means when you zoom back in again, you're going to be much closer. And that's basically it. That is all you need to do the super zoom effect. So once you've got your two video clips, we can drop them into a video editor of your choice and stitch these together. Now, like I said, I'm using Adobe Premiere for this, but literally any editing software will work for this effect. Let me show you how. So we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and as you can see, I've got my first clip here. I'm zoomed out and then I zoom in. Then I've got the second clip. I'm much closer. I'm zoomed out and zoom in. So this air tag here, this is my target. This is what I'm zooming in on. So what we basically want to do with this is we want to go halfway through this first zoom. So somewhere around here. And we just want to make a cut there. In Premiere, I'm pressing C to load up the razor tool and then pressing V and deleting that last part. And then we want to go to the second video clip and again, halfway through that zoom. So somewhere around here, we'll make a cut, delete the first part, and then we'll bring these two video clips together. Now, when we play this back, you can see we've got this really awesome and simple super zoom effect. Now, of course, you may need to fine tune this a little bit. If you cut the first zoom a little bit too late, so like this, you can see that doesn't quite work. So you need to make sure that you're midway through the zoom cut and then cut to this one midway through this zoom. So that is the basics of this effect. You can take this one step further and I'm going to show you how to do this in Premiere, but your editing software might have something similar. So at the start of this zoom, so somewhere around here, I'm going to create a brand new keyframe on the position and the scale on this first video clip. So we'll go position scale. Then we'll go towards the end and we'll figure out roughly the size of this bag. So you can see it's filling up most of the screen. So we'll go back one frame and we're going to zoom this video clip up to the point where the other one is. So we'll increase the scale and it was somewhere around here, although the position's off slightly. So we'll just pull that across. And basically what we're doing here is we are extending this first zoom. As you can see, that makes that transition a lot more dramatic. So let me play that back in real time for you. There you go. That looks a lot better. Although the problem is there's a little bit of a jump cut there, as you can see, because we're going from this to this, because this background has changed quite a lot, there is a bit of a jump there. So we can go ahead and help ease this with some blur. So what we'll do is we'll create a brand new adjustment layer. So we'll go new item in the project tab, adjustment layer. Press OK on this and we'll drag the adjustment layer above that cut. And then we'll just cut the start and the end of this. So as you can see, we've got this adjustment layer hovering roughly in between these two video clips. Now from here, we'll go into effects, search for blur. And you can see we've got channel blur, compound blur, directional blur, Gaussian blur. We can choose pretty much any one of these. I'm going to go for Gaussian blur in this example though. And as you can see, if I increase the blurriness, that's just going to make it blurry. Of course, it's really important here to get rid of this black border. We want to make sure we select repeat edge pixels and that will fix that for us. So what we want to do is we want to go to the point in between these two video clips. So here we transition from the first clip to the second clip at this point here. So we'll go ahead and we'll make a keyframe on the blurriness and we'll set the blurriness to 100. Then we'll create a brand new keyframe on the blurriness and we'll go back on ourselves, maybe five keyframes to the left like this and we'll set this to zero. Then we'll go 10 keyframes to the right. So we'll go to that center point and another five over. 
and we'll set this back down to zero as well. So what we're doing here is we're going zero, five keyframes to the right is 100, five keyframes to the right is zero. So we're blurring at that transition point. But the problem is if we play this back, it doesn't actually look great. It just looks like we've got a blurry video now which is kind of helping smooth the transition out, but it's not exactly doing what we want it to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a mask around the item. So we'll create that around the center of the frame. So we'll blur out the background more and we'll keep the subject in focus. And in order to do that, we just want to go into opacity. We'll select the create ellipse mask tool. As you can see, that's made the middle blurry. So what we're going to do is select inverted. We'll increase the mask expansion to expand that. So somewhere around here should do the trick. Then we'll just increase the mask feather so that we can smooth out the edge of this mask. So we'll go 400%. And there you go. That should create this really nice soft fade off into that blurriness. And now when we play this back, you'll notice that the bag is always in focus, but the background is starting to blur out, which means this transition is going to be eased quite a lot. Let's see how that looks. There you go, that looks a lot better. There is still a little bit of a jump, so this might need just a little bit of finicking around, maybe just move some of the videos over by a frame or two, or you can add some more blur onto this. It's completely up to you, but that is the basics of how you create this super zoom effect. Essentially, all you need to do is just zoom in at the end of your first clip, zoom in at the start of your second clip, and then you just cut these two together and then just use a little bit of editing just to smooth out that transition from one clip to another. But there you go. That is the super zoom effect now complete inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you ever so much for watching. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.